So she's describing is a uh, newish idea, but it basically what it has recognized is that the traditional model of delivery of healthcare is not really working. I.e. patients attending doctors and being prescribed treatments is um, not alleviating the ongoing increasing costs on the health service. And there has been a recognition that uh, alternative models of care are needed. Social prescribing, therefore, is a good method by which doctors and um, other health professionals can refer to coordinators who look at the overall picture of a person in their own homes and their own environments and suggest methods whereby they can interact with the communities. Um, such services would be um, just attending um, a service in the community to um, provide exercise. Um, even to just get social interaction with other people, um, perhaps specific clubs for um, illnesses such as diabetes where they can interact with other people with those problems and try and learn um, in a peer um, support type manner. So it's looking at the overall picture of a person, um, putting a package together for them that doesn't rely on you know prescription medications, referrals to hospital um, and it therefore increases uh, the patient's self-reliance, the patient's well-being and uh, uh, the, the, the benefits to the whole community. And obviously the attraction to the health service and the reason why money is directed towards it is, is hopefully it reduces uh, people's reliance on statutory health care. Involving social prescribing and the, the overall um, package of the care allowed these people to get back into the community, integrated in the community. These particular people attend now the, the gas yard site where they do exercise classes. They have developed um, good friendships with people. And I mean, whenever I look at several patients in particular, we just see that the number of attendances at the surgery here has decreased quite remarkably.